A team of scientists has conducted a groundbreaking analysis of two million year old fossils, often referred to as the missing link. Their research offers unprecedented insights into the ancient human relative Australopithecus sediba, revealing that this species walked like a human but climbed like an ape. Could this be the elusive link Darwin envisioned? The discovery of these fossilized vertebrae in Africa, dating back two million years, has resolved a long standing debate in anthropology. For years, Researchers questioned whether Australopithecus sediba possessed the ability to both walk upright and climb trees. This study finally provides a definitive answer. A recent paper reveals that this early hominin, Australopithecus sediba, was akin to a cat, excelling in both vertical and horizontal movement. The researchers have shown how Australopithecus sediba skillfully used its upper limbs to climb trees and cliffs, while its lower limbs enabled it to walk upright, much like modern humans. The research team, comprising experts from New York University, the University of the Witwatersrand, and 15 other academic institutions worldwide, has published their findings in the open access journal eLife. The study focuses on two key discoveries lumbar vertebrae from the lower backs of both a male and female Australopithecus sediba. These findings provide critical insights into the movement and anatomy of this ancient hominin. According to a release from New York University, the fossilized spine of a new species of ancient human relatives was first discovered in 2008 by Professor Lee Berger from the University of the Witwatersrand and his son, Matthew. This remarkable find, dating back two million years, was unearthed in Malapa Cave, located in the cradle of humankind World Heritage Site, northwest of Johannesburg, South Africa. The female skeleton, named Issa, which means protector in Swahili, has since become a focal point in understanding the evolution of early hominins. In 2015, anthropologists made another significant discovery at the same site, a male Australopithecus sediba skeleton with the most complete lower back ever found. Together with the previously discovered female vertebrae, these fossils have allowed researchers to demonstrate that our ancient human relatives possessed the unique ability to climb like animals while walking upright like modern humans. Virtually preparing two million year old fossils. The fossils, encased in breccia, a cement like rock, presented a challenge for extraction. To prevent damage, the team used a micro CT scanner at the University of the Witwatersrand to scan the fossils. This process allowed the researchers to virtually prepare the vertebrae, which were then meticulously pieced together with other fossil fragments from the site. Remarkably, the vertebrae from the 2008 and 2015 discoveries were found to articulate perfectly, offering new insights into the anatomy and movement of Australopithecus sediba. Professor Scott Williams of New York University and Wits University, the lead author of the new study, emphasized the importance of the lumbar region in understanding bipedalism in our earliest ancestors. He explained that the lumbar vertebrae are crucial for determining whether a species could walk on two legs, as modern humans do. Previous studies of the lumbar region were limited by incomplete lower spines, but this new research provides a more complete picture. Notably, the study revealed that Australopithecus sediba had a relatively straight spine, lacking the curvature or lordosis typically observed in modern humans. This discovery offers new insights into the evolution of bipedalism. Lordosis in ancient humans. Professor Gabriel Russo of Stony Brook University, a co-author of the study, provided further insights into the concept of lordosis, the inward curve of the lumbar spine associated with bipedalism. 
the research revealed that Australopithecus sediba exhibited a more pronounced lordosis than any other Australopithecines discovered to date. According to Rousseau, this extreme curvature suggests a powerful trunk musculature, likely adapted for arboreal, tree-climbing behaviors. Additionally, Issa's spine was found to bear greater resemblance to that of Neanderthals and other more primitive hominins older than two million years, offering new perspectives on the evolutionary adaptations of early human ancestors. The study concluded that the new spinal research underscores the Australopithecus sediba's transitional nature, showcasing its ability to both walk like a human and climb trees like an ape. This finding positions Australopithecus sediba as a missing link, representing another intermediate species in the evolutionary bridge between great apes, Neanderthals, and modern humans.